Hi, I'm Julie Rappaport, President of Smoke and Yogi Visions, and very excited to be bringing you April's podcast news. Now listen closely for how you can help sustain the Minnesota film industry with only a 41 cent stamp and only 41 seconds of your time. But first, let me tell you what's been stirring up at Smoke and Yogi. Our trip to LA was a huge success with our demo of Abnormally Normal screening at the International Family Film Festival. Penny Marshall's movie won at the Black Tie Ceremony. Mickey Rooney and Henry Winkler's did too. We were proud to be screened next to such entertainment legends. Afterwards, we hosted a party for our Hollywood Network at the Raleigh Studios featuring our famous smoking yoga teenies. We've been busy interviewing unit production managers, directors, DPs, producers, and if you're interested in showing off your resume, send it in to molly at smokeandyogi.com. And keep your eyes out for new job postings. You can always find them on the smokeandyogi.com site and on the Minnesota Film Board. This month, we're going to be holding casting calls for a full week from April 14th to April 19th. We'll be holding an open casting call, but you're encouraged to make an appointment with Molly at smokeandyogi.com. Chicago's Border Stores at Highland Park and Deerfield just featured our book, Relational Shifts, while hosting meetup.com's North Shore Divorce Support Group. On April 12th, we're back at Daisy Camp for You, speaking about how to stay family after divorce. Then on Friday, April 18th, Watch for Smoke and Yogi's interview with Diana Pierce on CARE 11 News at 4. I also get to be on a Minnesota Women in Film and Television new media panel with Christina Cordova and others at HDMG on Tuesday, April 29th. Now amidst all this great news, we do have some not so smoking news and we need to ask for your help. Star and Tribune just exposed Minnesota's film industry is in deep trouble. Minnesota's legislation can't even compete with other states' incentive programs, nor do they have enough money to lure or keep big budget productions. Smoke and Yogi doesn't want to move to another state simply because Minnesota doesn't have proper funding in place. Smoke and Yogi Films wants to provide precisely what this state needs. We're going to be producing a narrative series that will employ hundreds of people over an extended period of time. We want to employ Minnesotans, and we want to portray our state as not only a great place to write a film, but to produce one. This is how you can help for only 41 seconds of your time and a 41 cent stamp. Go to smokeandyogi.com slash Minnesota. Print out the letter that we've written to our elected officials, sign it, seal it, and throw a stamp on it. The legislature needs to know how important this is, not only for the film community, but for the jobs created statewide, which will only end up stimulating our suffering economy. If you'd like to know more, Shoot in Minnesota and the Minnesota Film Board will be hosting a town hall meeting on Thursday, April 17th at 5 p.m. at IFP. Then, please join us for Let's Roll on the Capitol. Mark your calendars for Monday, April 28th, 9.30 in the morning, to rally on the steps of the Capitol where we'll hand deliver our letters and petitions to the governor. You can read more about these dates and the issues at smokeandyogi.com slash Minnesota. Now, back to the good news. Our book, Relational Shifts, is on every Borders bookstore shelves in the Twin Cities and in four in Los Angeles. Century City, Pasadena, Hollywood, and Pico Rivera all ordered our books. You can also find it in Garrison Keillor's Common Good Books in St. Paul. It's also available at Amazon.com. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Julie Rappaport with Smoke and Yogi's Podcast News.